I'm joined by Jacqueline Fuller, the director of Google.org, here at the Google I.O. conference here in San Francisco. And you give away money. I do. I have one of the best jobs in the world. So I run, I run Google's philanthropy, and we give away more than $100 million each year. Um, and and uh, well recognized for doing that good work. But I, I'm interested in the, in the focus. You know, Google has a particular way of doing everything that Google does. Yeah. Now, also in philanthropy. How is your approach different? So, look, here's the thing. Not surprising, Google's a big believer in the power of technology to improve lives. But what Google.org does is looks for specific areas where technology hasn't really had those breakthroughs or people who are disadvantaged who aren't um, getting the benefits of that technology. So, for example, there's a billion people around the world living with a disability, either cognitive or physical disability. So we're thinking, how can we help bring even more of the power of technology to that community? A lot of uh, uh, charities, particularly in Silicon Valley, when they get involved, they want they want more or, or in finance. Those yeah. are our worlds for Bloomberg, yeah. right? Yeah. They want measured results. Right. They want they want to set very specific goals. They want to be very involved, or at least very involved in in tracking what happens to the dollars that they put in. Yeah, is as that they a Google be. approach? No, definitely, as they should be. Look, we're we're very data driven. And in the area of philanthropy and development, I actually think we need to be a little bit more oriented towards the metrics. So I'm held accountable. You know, I report into the CFO, and I have to have that conversation every single year. What's the ROI that we're getting in our charitable investments? How are we seeing lives changed? And so when we partner with people, we're very clear up front. We work together to say, what are the deliverables that we're going to see here? Give me an example of something that's worked. Oh my goodness, so we funded a group called Give Directly. And the idea there, it sounds very simple, but it had never been done before, right? So they facilitate right. giving money directly to the poor. Right. So using mobile money in places like Kenya to enable anyone, you and I, to make donations and have that cash go directly to the poor. Well, they measure their results with randomized controlled trials. So many people who run nonprofits don't do that sort of measurement, and they're not as transparent with the outcomes. But they measure uh, the outcomes, and so we funded them when they were just a, you know, an idea, really, and a startup. We were their first uh, million, and uh, they just have received, you know, tens of millions of dollars in investment following on to that. Yeah, no, I've heard terrific things about that organization in particular, and it's that kind of out of the box thing. So one of the things Google does employees, right? It says find a new way to do something with right. a certain percentage of your time. That's right. Do you? How do you find these kind of out of the box ideas? where capitalism is not the ultimate goal? So we have a couple ways that we do that. So sometimes we operate like a VC. We're very proactive. We go out, we research an area, and we say we want to find and fund the best people who are working on this gap. You know, we did that with sex trafficking a few years ago where we were saying this is a horrific problem and nobody's bringing the technology and the data and the evidence to bear. So there we'll go out really proactively and, and try and create some partnerships. Other times, like just this week, we launched an open call, so $20 million open call. Any nonprofit in the world who's got a great idea about how to use technology to help people who are living with disabilities. So in that approach, we just open it up and say, send us your best ideas. It's fascinating. Well, how do you, uh, as, as you start to build out a team there, do you try to use sort of the leverage that technology can give you? in terms of measuring it or finding ideas or finding problems? Oh, every step along the way we use technology, right? So we're Google. So for example, um, we did a, a Bay Area Impact Challenge where regionally here we opened it up and said, tell us your best idea for using half a million dollars to make the Bay Area better. So the good news, we got more than a thousand applications. The bad news, we got more than a thousand applications. But we were able to use our 55,000 Googlers around the world to help read the application, we had an internal system built just so we can assess these opportunities. So we use technology from assessment to implementation, and then when we provide funding, we have a grants plus Google model. So what we do is we look for ways that we can provide both funding, and if that nonprofit partner also needs Google help in terms of you know an engineer to help with that water flow sensor, or engineers to help design the back end of Give Directly, like we did with our partner right. there, we provide that help too. That's really interesting. That, that may be the one thing that you can do so much better than, than uh, other kinds of charities and things because you've got those resources and maybe the approach that things really can be done differently. Absolutely. That's what, that's what we're trying to do, right? Philanthropy is all about bringing the best of who you are to the table and making that available to the people who need it the most. Jacqueline Fuller, thank you very much.